little home right here for our whole flight. Going on a, what is it, 13, 14 hours? 14 hours, and I get this. So excited! Korea was because of the U.S. Taekwondo Committee. They were extremely gracious to host me, have the entire week planned out, and I had so many fun experiences, once in a lifetime memories that I'm never going to get back, and I love being there. I started Taekwondo when I was eight years old, and it has always been a part of my life that I value so much. While in Korea, we were around all of these martial artists, these people that were my age or even younger, they've been doing Taekwondo since they could walk, I'm sure and they train like all day, all night. Their life is Taekwondo. They are the best of the best in the entire Taekwondo martial art world. They're amazing. So to be able to practice with them and train with them and do a few little things with them was an honor. And I was actually a little nervous. <laughs> when their kicks are like straight up, practically splits in the air and mine don't even compare. It was a little nerve wracking, but it was an honor to be still accepted by them. And they said that they liked my technique and that they thought I was pretty good, so I'll take it. The whole cultural experience in Korea was fascinating for me. I have been raised in Taekwondo and always understood respecting your elders, but it's a whole nother level in Korea and I actually loved it. It was little things by how much you bow depending on who you're meeting. If it's a very high up official or elder or grandmaster, you're going to bow a lot more than you would bow to the doorman at the hotel. But everyone that you meet that you don't know, you're definitely respecting with a bow and not making any eye contact. When it comes to language, there's even different ways to say things with more respect. So I would learn how to say, hello, how are you? And I would get so comfortable and feel like a professional and then I would meet somebody that was a dignitary or someone higher from the government and I would have to relearn how to say it with a more respectful way and just tweak the word a little bit. Yeah, that was perfect. I was just presented with an honorary bachelor's degree. So exciting, bachelor's degree in Taekwondo because I love Taekwondo so much, it's very special. I also did some board breaks, they went well. The demonstration was insane. Those, there were students, those students would just kind of hang out up in the air, maybe throw a kick here or there, like while floating. It was insane and I'm so glad I got to see that because I'm gonna have to take a couple little moves back to my practice as well. Overall, my experience in Korea was one of those once in a lifetime memories that I'll never forget. I loved working with all of the groups and the organizations out there. The Taekwondo one, the Cookie one, the World Taekwondo Federation, US Taekwondo Committee. There's so many out there that made me feel so welcome. And not only the organizations, but the colleges that we went to, the tournaments that we went to, the people that we met on the street. I felt loved and welcomed by the community and the culture and the country and I really hope to continue to work on those future endeavors that I might have in Korea, especially because I was named the Goodwill Ambassador for Taekwondo. So anything I can do this next year, I want to continue to do that with Taekwondo and Korea.